This is Mike Sorahan for e e News. It started with a rumble, then a blast. Around lunchtime on December 11, 2012, a corroded spot on a Columbia gas transmission pipeline ruptured in the community of Sissonville, West Virginia, north of Charleston. It took an hour to shut down the pipeline and cut off the roaring flame. A section of Interstate 77 melted and three houses were incinerated. Fortunately, none of the residents were killed because they weren't home. Volunteer firefighter Drew Foudy described the scene. I mean, just debris all over the place. It was all the way down to where the entrance the ramp is for the, the interstate. Other end, right uh, in back. All the way to the, oh wow. Yeah, I mean, so you had close to a half mile of the debris field. Just, just going this way, and I, I don't know how far exactly it spanned going, you know, east-west, but it was, it was fairly substantial that way too because the culvert there and the fire was blowing through the culvert. So it's cooking the interstate from the top and the bottom. Sue Bonham was home. On the phone with a woman named Trudy Weaver to get her dishwasher repaired. She scrambled to hide, not knowing four local firefighters were looking for her. God, just don't let me know I'm going to burn alive. I don't, I'll go, I'm ready to go. I, I, it's all right. I, I made my peace. I said my goodbyes on the phone to my family through Trudy, and I was I was ready to just go ahead and call it quits and wait till uh, that it just overcome me, and uh, and that's when the guys came in. Regulators at the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration did not seek a financial penalty from Columbia. That's not uncommon. An E and E News analysis of federal data shows that since the beginning of 2010. Interstate pipelines have exploded or caught fire 137 times. In about 90% of those cases, regulators sought no fine.